This has to be the most outrageous and egregious situation I've ever seen. The amount of misrepresentation of what went down here in media is blowing my mind. I've never seen something so disgusting. This is a man, if you don't know what my YouTube channel's about, welcome. I'm sorry that you're here and I'm sorry that you landed here. But I watch Japanese women eat pounds of feces, puke it up, and eat it again. I watch cartels perform such disgusting acts to one another. It's considered war crimes. And yet, what we're about to go over today tops it all. Tops it all. Because at least these videos I go over are straightforward. Video title, woman eating shit. Guess what's in there? Exactly what it describes. Video title, Freak accident on ice hockey rink. That ain't what happened. That ain't what happened. Listen, people. I've been around a farm, okay? And I've seen a cow's ass. I know what bullshit looks like. Trust me. You know what a freak accident is? Freak accident is if I walk outside and I get struck by lightning. That's a freak accident. A freak accident was a couple years ago. This man in India, he got hit by a meteorite. And when they examined the meteorite, they were like, wow, this meteorite is old as the universe itself. This means this meteorite was traveling the universe for 20 to 30 billion years. And it just so happened to hit him in the head. That's a freak accident. A freak accident ain't Samantha when a fucking Shawn Michaels sweet chin music during an ice hockey game. That's not a freak accident. I'm going to go over this footage. And I thank you, God. That I, again, I'm formally trained in Taekwondo. I was trained by a former UFC lightweight contender. Okay, I trained at his gym and under his instructor. I've trained so many years of my life. So I know what a kick looks like. I know what it looks like when you get in your stance, you shuffle step, cock your leg back, and let it out. And you hit a man right in the fucking face with it. I know what that looks like. So you can't bullshit me. The only way you would defend this man is one of two people. You either bought this motherfucker's jersey or you're related to him by blood. Otherwise, you don't defend this man. And it is blowing my mind. He is being charged with manslaughter, okay? He's being charged with manslaughter. If you don't know what manslaughter is, it means that I have killed you and, uh, my bad. It was an accident. Again, like drunk driving. I drove and I crashed into you. That's manslaughter. Manslaughter is things upon those lines. It's pretty much... You're dead, and uh, I'm in a flower field, and I just pick some oopsie daisies. That's what manslaughter is. Bullshit, right? Bullshit charge. I don't know why he's being charged with manslaughter. I mean, the footage is the footage. We're going to go over the footage. I'm going to tell you what happened in this situation right here. You got Matt Petgrave was on one side. Adam Johnson was on the other. Adam Johnson's at the top of this rink, and they're having a hockey game. Matt Petgrave comes this way. He moves the player out the way. It, it, what it looks like, because, of course, the case is still going on. So what it looks like is that he gets into his stance. What it looks like is that he shuffle steps. What it looks like is that he cocks in his leg. What it looks like is then he releases that leg with his arm in unison to propel it with extra force. And what it looks like is that he leans and throws this kick at a high angle to kick another player in the face. I mean, that's just what it looks like. I mean, it's a freak accident after all. Give me a fucking break. I wouldn't buy that shit if it was for free, okay? You can come up to me and say, it's completely free. I'm not taking that shit. I'm not. Not me. Maybe somebody else who's acoustic or retarded might take it. I'm neither. I'm not taking that. So we're going to go over this footage right here. So right here, uh, rest in peace, Adam Johnson. God bless you, man. This guy is tough as nails. He is a tough son of a fucking gun, man. This guy got kicked in the jaw, kicked across the neck. He is bleeding, gushing out. And he gets right up and just puts pressure on it, and he starts skating off this rink. What a tough bastard. This guy is as tough as they come. Ain't nobody tougher than this fucking guy. And by the way, let me, let me give you some... Uh... <laughs> let me make you laugh a little bit. This Matt Petgrave guy, after this situation transpired, would you know it's going to blow your fucking mind. So hold on to your head before it explodes. He got a standing ovation. Not the man who passed away, but the other man who was involved in this situation got a standing ovation. Like he had some fucking Nobel Peace Prize. Okay, that's what went down. Yeah. So we're going over this. F I can't believe it. can't believe it. Alright, so we're going over this footage, and it's in slow motion. Obviously, we're going to go over the whole thing. 
uh, but I'm gonna probably put it up in this corner right here so here's what we're looking at this man right here you see at the top of the screen this is Adam Johnson God bless you rest in peace this man right down here this is Matt Petgrave this is our guy now this is all what it looks like I'm just gonna tell you what it looks like to me as a former practitioner of Taekwondo as a guy who was trained under guys who have competed professionally and at amateur levels of kickboxing and mixed martial arts. I'm telling you what I think it looks like. Not for what it is. Of course, for legal reasons. I got to tell you what it looks like to me. So right here, we have Petgrave. Let me show you real quick. And he is what's known in the, as a side stance. That's uh, That looks like a side stance. What is a side stance? So you have a square stance. A square stance is when I'm looking at you and both my hands are like this, so I am squared up with you. A side stance, aka a combative stance, is when I take a step backwards and I have either my right hand up, which would be orthodox, or southpaw. Here's what is in a side stance. You have a lead leg. So he is in an orthodox side stance. Okay. Now let's take a look at his feet. He shuffles his lead foot. He, What it seems like is that he shuffles his lead foot inwards, okay? Pushes this guy out of the way. Loaded up his leg. This is what it seems like. It seems like he loaded up his leg. And you see how he dragged his arm across his body? You see how that... He's either A, after loading up his leg and dragging his arm across his body, he's either A, gonna just throw the kick... <laughs> Always gonna let that arm out in unison with this kick, which in Taekwondo and kickboxing, and in any form, I mean, even Sanda, just whatever Muay Thai, you bring your arm across and you let it out when you throw a side kick because it creates extra force, it generates more power. Okay? It's a pretty good technique. And he whips that motherfucker. And we're gonna pause the video right there. Gotta pause it right there. I'm gonna tell you in all my years of, throw, of doing kickboxing, Taekwondo, all my years, I've never thrown a kick that looked that good. And I try to throw the kick on purpose. I've never thrown a kick that looked that good. That's some good technique. And no wise words of SpongeBob, technique, technique. That's fucking good technique right there. I, I, I can't, I can't believe it. Can't believe it. What I am seeing with my eyes. The idea that a man is able to accidentally side stance, shuffle, load, cock, bring across, and release. All in one motion. And he claims to be devastated after said um after said interaction. He has released a statement saying he is devastated. This feels like an SNL skit. Okay, this is what this fucking feels like. This is what this shit feels like. It feels like a fucking SNL skit. In my opinion, it don't get more clear as day to me than anything else. It, I say it is what it is. Well, I know what I'm looking at. Okay? You may be able to convince some fucking dumb motherfucker somewhere else of what they're looking at. I know what the fuck I'm looking at. Okay? I know what I'm looking at. You're really going to be devastated when that court hearing comes up. You're really going to be devastated when that jury stands and gives their fucking opinion. That's when you're going to really be devastated. And if if these charges don't upgrade from manslaughter to murder, I'll be surprised. I'll be surprised. I'll genuinely be surprised. Is he? If he is found not guilty for this, I'll genuinely be so fucking surprised... I mean, holy shit. At that fucking point, this, if, if he does not get found guilty on upgraded charges, that'll be the day I grow fucking tits. I will have fucking tits. And I will jiggle them. And fucking masturbate in the mirror while staring at them. That'll be that fucking day. Okay? That'll be the day when hell gets an air conditioner so it's no longer hot. That'll be that day. I don't think that day is coming. Shit. I do not think that day is coming. I had to cut the video because it was just three minutes of me sitting there in silence. I mean, that's it. I got nothing else to say. 
that's the end of the video. Like, favorite, and share. Most importantly, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Check out my Patreon. That shit helps me out a lot. Check out my other handles. It's linked down there below. Comment down below. This one's very important. Comment down below what you think. What's your opinion on this situation? What is your opinion? Let me know down below what you think transpired. I'm your boy, Cold Raven. I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace.